It's one of the most infamous cold cases ever in the Chicago area. 15 years ago today, five women were murdered during a robbery at the Lane Bryant store in South Suburban Tinley Park. The gunman has never been caught. Tonight, for the first time, we hear from two women who worked at that store. They tell CBS 2's Jim Williams how they happened to stay out of harm's way on February 2nd, 2008. On that cold February morning, the morning of the murders here. Tinley Park police say one yeah. man walked into the Lane Bryant clothing store. It was a hair appointment and a medical emergency that kept cousins Laura and Lori, first cousins, first, first, cousins. first cousins, away from the Lane Bryant store in Tinley Park, where they both worked part time. I called the store on Friday and said I wouldn't be able to come in for Saturday. Lori, she's asked that we not use her last name, was unable to work her shift that Saturday because her 13-year-old son had surgery. Then a temperature of 106. She needed to be with him in the hospital. It was there she saw the first reports on television. A gunman took five women into a back room at this Lane Bryan store, including one employee. And I see on the TV Lane Bryan killing. And I'm like, Lane Bryant, I work there and I'm telling the nurses, oh my God, I work at Lane Bryant. Still not seeing Tinley. Cell service inside the hospital was spotty, but then a flurry of voice messages came in. And I hear ding, 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 ding. And I'm listening to voicemails and people are crying on my phone saying, answer your phone, answer your phone. I hope you're not at work today. Laura had told cousin Lori she could not pick up her shift because she had a hair appointment. At the salon, she too was on the receiving end of frantic phone calls. People just start calling and calling and like, where are you? Are you at work? So your friends are horrified. Oh my God. I was just talking to a girlfriend today who was saying, I just remember the day calling and begging you to answer your phone. Soon they learned who had been in the store. Five women shot to death, one wounded. Customers and coworkers, including store manager Rhoda McFarland. Probably one of the most caring, giving, selfless managers I've ever worked for. Mm. Sweetheart. Um, once they said who was in the store and 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 I just all I could do was break down and cry, you know, I because I, I couldn't believe it. Police say the gunman had announced a robbery. Laura tells us little cash was kept in the store. We knew our customers. Our customers didn't use cash a lot. Our customers used credit card, wrote a check, two registers in the store, $200 in each register. That's it. That's it. On a 911 call made from inside the store, you can hear the murderer's muffled voice. So too, the faint voice of Rhoda McFarland. And when I, you know, heard that 911 call yeah. and heard her voice. Laurie and Laura have fond memories of Lane Bryant. Laurie's mother also had worked there, a family they called it. You know, Lane Bryant was for full of figure women. And so making us feel good about ourselves was one of the joys of working there. Sure. And I loved it. 15 years later, that Lane Bryant store is gone, and the case is still cold. I'm still at that why. Why? Why did these women have to die? What was it that you were looking for to take five women's lives? Authorities have released a sketch of the killer, and Tinley Park detectives are still investigating. It's still being worked on on somebody's desk, that there's somebody that's still caring about the five lives that were taken senselessly. So if they're saying that they're still working on the case today, 15 years later, I'm grateful. A large white cross is placed in the snow near five smaller crosses. Justice should be served for all those families that lost somebody on a cold Saturday morning. You have this alarming episode with your son, and that keeps you out of work, and so your life was spared. Now thank God for it.
Mm. What perspective. That was Jim Williams reporting. Last year, two new detectives were assigned to the case, and Tinley Park officials say they have funding to continue that investigation. Wow, riveting to hear from both of them.